And dry conditions certainly didn't help today in a sandy neighborhood where a house fire and explosion almost turned into something worse when the fire started spreading to nearby properties. New special Sandra Adams live for us tonight with some pretty dramatic video. Andrew? Well, it really is, Mike, and firefighters say it doesn't take much for a fire to spark right now. And so when shrapnel and other debris started landing in other yards, other fires started to spark here. Fortunately, nobody was injured, but at one point, didn't exactly look that way. On a scorching summer afternoon, no amount of water could bring comfort. You started to realize how much damage was actually taking place every second. I mean, your, your heart really aches. The fire was utterly devastating. This house was engulfed completely in dark, black, thick gray smoke. It all burned so quickly. And by the time I got across the street, I mean, it engulfed that whole side of the house. And moments after crews started to fight the flames, the fire battled back. A propane tank exploded and it blew the roof off. Shrapnel was everywhere. Because it, it shot out about 150 feet. At that point, I started to notice that there was nearby um, lawns on fire. The side of their lawn started to catch on fire. The house appeared to be a total loss. Uh, it was quite the explosion. Though the homeowners were gone, neighbors were certain there was at least one casualty. I thought for sure there's no way that the dog survived this. The family dog was trapped inside. Cleared the upstairs, or they cleared the downstairs, and the dog was hiding under the bed in the master bedroom, and so they were able to rescue the dog, which is an amazing story. On one family's worst day, this dog survived to see another. It's actually a really sweet ending to a really horrible and tragic event. And at least there was comfort in that. I'm, I'm shook. That was probably the largest explosion I've seen. Pretty crazy day, right? Well, this is a picture that uh, Sandy firefighters took as they were giving the dog first aid again. Made it out okay, but very scary situation for the dog. And, of course, a uh, very tragic situation for this family with the home appearing to be a total loss. The GoFundMe account has been set up. We'll have more information on our website, ksltv.com. The cause for now remains under investigation. Thank you. Yeah, and some of the concerns, as you mentioned there, I mean, with the dry conditions out there, could have started a couple more fires along the way. So glad everyone's okay. Mm -hmm. Andrew, thank you.